Now let's graph this equation right here. Notice it's a quadratic equation. First thing to notice is that if you factor out a 3, the problem becomes a lot easier. So remember, factoring is a key. Also, when you factor it, you'll notice, hey, this now factors even further into a perfect square. It's x plus 1 squared. Now, that means it depends on how much you've learned about this yet, but what that basically means is that there's only one x-intercept. And that one x-intercept, only one x-intercept, is negative 1. Because if you solve this, what x plus 1 squared basically means, you've got x plus 1 times x plus 1. Which means these both give you x equals negative 1 when you set them equal to 0. And so negative 1 right here is going to be your graph on your graph or I'm sorry it's going to be your only zero which means it's going to bounce off of that and then this three here further tells you how fast it rises so instead of going over one up one over two up four which a normal x squared would do you would go over one up one over two up four over three up 9 because you're squaring it each time. Well now you're going to triple that. So instead of going over 1 up 1, you're going over 1 up 3. Instead of going over 2 up 4, multiply 4 by 3 and you get 12. You're going up 3 times as much. In other words, it's going to go up even faster. So with these, gra with these um, Excel math word problems, what you have to do is you have to plot a couple points and it'll automatically fill the rest in for you. So you're going to go over 1, up 1. I'm sorry, over 1, up 3. Let me change that. Over 1, up 3. You can even test that point right there. 0, 3. Is 0, 3 a point? Yes, it is. If you plug 0 in for x, you get 3 for y over 2, which would put you at the point 1, comma. Now I'm going to go up, instead of going up 4, which you normally would do in a quadratic, moving over 2 on the x moves up 2 squared on the y, which is 4. Now it's 2 squared times 3, which is 12. So I'm going up 12. And again, if you want to test it, plug it in over here and see if that works plug in 1 for x and you're going to get 3 plus 6 plus 3 which is 12 and so sure enough that's another point up there and then symmetrically you're going to have that point there and you're going to have that point right there and then again when you're graphing this with Excel math you don't even need all those points because once you plot the vertex and one other point it automatically knows what your formula is because it then plots the other point um, that's symmetric to it across the axis of symmetry which is going to be y or sorry x equals negative one in this case and that that puts all the rest of the points into place for you as long as one of your points is the vertex it's good to go so that's what we're doing good luck